what is going on guys welcome to another beautiful Norwegian vlog on this gorgeous Norwegian day and what better time to take the bike out than a gorgeous Sunday morning like this well good morning ladies and gentlemen apologies for a little bit of a wind noise but we're just coming down the E39 and this morning I thought that we would go and see some World War II German bunkers so we're going to make our way down to a place called Eggersund and then not far from there there's a couple of quite little twisty nice little roads and then there's a place like a little country park where there are some uh, German World War II command posts so stay tuned people while we just get this uh, this bit of motorway out of the way Right, it's 10.25 and I've just changed the battery See how long this one lasts I'm having a bit of problem with the old GoPro 3 batteries Yeah, I've uh, been speaking to a few people and they've been saying that their Drift Ghost batteries they're lasting like 3-4 hours I've got the Hero 3 Black Plus I don't think these batteries last quite as long Anyway, onwards and upwards to Eggersund, let's go. Right, for those of you wondering where the uh, where the snow was, we're now like 300 metres above sea level, and this is like the highest part of the motorway around Stavanger, and this is usually impassable. Especially on a bike, you will never bring a bike up here, and this is middle, end of February, and there's hardly any snow anywhere is there well this my lovely people is Eggersund just coming into their lovely part of town lovely part of the country so I still followed the coast down we're still on the west coast just halfway between Stavanger and Kristiansand a little bit of history for you as you well know the Germans invaded Norway around about 1940 and they pretty much controlled the country and the main thing that they were after was all the mining that Norway has to offer so all the iron ore and everything like that for the German war machine so of course all the iron ore and all the steel and everything that they mined out of the mountains were going towards the German war machine and building planes and ships and uh, weapons and they needed a way of defending that so what they did is they came up with an idea of building an Atlantic wall so basically they built this Atlantic wall to protect all the coastal positions that Germany owned so at the time Germany was going into like France, they owned Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, Denmark, all the way up the coast up to Norway. So they built fortifications all the way up, up the coast to protect them from the British, basically. Now the one that we're going to go and visit today, you can tell where they'd placed the anti-aircraft guns and you can tell where the command centre is and there's still existing tunnel systems that you can have a look at so this is it now, the Kriegs Minna this is where we are the New Guard unfortunately it's not as nice as day as what I thought it was going to be for it but we should make the most of what we've got Right, good morning folks. Welcome to a very foggy Kriegsmina or German bunkers. Let's make our way up to the command post. So this here, whew, it's quite a walk up there. This here, first place 
some kind of barracks. All this massive mountain system is full of tunnels. So we've just head up from the car park and we've just done that little steep thing. And that there is where the barracks are. And we're here where the first tunnel system is. So this is the first tunnel system. It's right in the mountains. This is your first gun emplacement, like command post. Big tunnel system this one. These are like entrances to the main command post. The main command post is up there on the top of the hill. But all of these are like built into the mountain. They took must have taken them months to dig all this out. You can see down there, look. Down there. Uh, and then you can see where the lookout points were. Look. Another tunnel system. I haven't got any torches, and the GoPro's not that good in the dark, so I've not gone in there, and that's my excuse. But you can get the tunnel system takes you all the way in it's all linked yeah you can see in yeah, the plinth so they had the other aircraft gone on well the command post was up that way and the barracks were down that way and then you'd have anti-aircraft gun position on there the barracks are down there look you see the barracks down there and then up here we don't know what this is here this is some kind of outpost but all the way around here all these rocky outcrops there's loads and loads of them, you can see in the distance down there. The loads of like command posts and stuff. So that was World War II German bunkers. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>